I'm Jeremy. I'm John. We're the Vintage Gamers, and uh, this is our pickup video from where we went to Charlotte, Queen City. Uh, we hit up Charlotte, we hit up Salisbury on the way back, hit up uh, Raleigh, had a big Craigslist deal with this one guy. First place we hit was in Rock Hill, South Carolina. We went to Joe's Classic Video Games and uh, picked up one thing there. We got Jurassic Park on 3DO. It's complete. Pretty terrible looking game. Uh, yeah, they, could, they couldn't even get the real actors, so. Uh, let's see how this, this goes. I got it for uh, eight dollars. Got uh, several things as well. Got a uh, Looney Tunes B-ball from the Super Nintendo, and uh, Power Rangers Battle Zio racers. Game I've been wanting to play right now, like Power Rangers, and uh, got both those for eight dollars. Not bad. Uh, it's a pretty cool store. Yeah, a lot of cool arcades and. Yeah, if you guys are in the area, check that place out. So uh, we were up there, we were looking at Craigslist, and we just saw an ad posted like 20 minutes before I called her, and she said she had about 50-some Nintendo games, and um, she's like, we can come out and look, and I was like, yeah, we'll be there as soon as we can, and uh, so we made the deal, um, and um, we picked up 55 Nintendo games for 80 bucks, and it's a good deal. Yeah, first game, we got Blades of Steel. And I got pro wrestling, baseball, Goonies 2. I haven't played that in a long time. Dick Tracy. I got this uh, Super Mario Duck Hunt World Class Track Meet combo card. Tetris. Friday the 13th. Classic. Yeah. Love. Bionic Commando. Joe and Mac. Metal Gear. Snake's Revenge. Check my bowl. Batman. Adventure Island. Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest. Another classic. And a personal fave, Metroid. I'll show you the games that I got from the lot. All of them I didn't have, so I was pretty happy about it. Alright, we got Rescue, the Embassy Mission. Skate or Die, one of John's favorite games, TNC, Surf Design. One, loved it as a kid. <laughs> Pictionary, Skate or Die 2, Iron Sword, Wizards and Warriors 2, Fabio. <laughs> so funny, it's Fabio. One of my personal favorites, finally got it, Paperboy. I also got a copy of World Class Trap Meat Super Mario Duck Hut. Golf. Super Team Games. Another, another classic, one of my favorites, Marvel Madness. Battle Chess. Operation Wolf. Mylon's Castle. Silent Service, Shooting Range, Rampage, Classic Game, Blaster Master, Sight Bike, Wizards and Warriors, Pro Wrestling, Rygar, Wrestlemania Russian Attack Goal Baseball Monopoly Destination Earth Star Here's some of the more game here's some of the better games that I got. One of been one I know it's a terrible game. X-Men. Still X-Men. 
Alright, Strides back. We went in there, this is the first game that I saw on the table that caught my eye. And uh, when I saw this, I knew we were getting a lot. Kid Icarus. Classic. Finally got a working copy. Uh, another game I've been really wanting to get, and uh, about bought it on eBay several times just because I can never find it. G.I. Joe, the Atlantis Factor. Happy to finally get that. For 55 games for 80 bucks isn't bad at all, especially for some of these other games. Happy to get that. Yeah, there was a few other games that we already had. We both had copies of, so uh, I used some of those for a trade. All right, in uh, Cremington, North Carolina, we hit up Gamers Alley, and uh, it's a really awesome store. The guys in there were really cool. We just talked and joked around with them for about an hour or so. And good times. Yeah, really good store. They had great prices too, like below eBay prices on a lot of this stuff. Definitely. I got several things from there. I got Superman from Nintendo. Donkey Kong Jr., which is a great deal in this game, too. It was like eight bucks, but so not bad at all. Got two box and complete games. Got Metal Gear. And uh, Snakes or Bench, all box and complete. For both of these games, it was about ten bucks. And they got some, you know, normal shelfware and stuff, but the box and complete, you can't go wrong with that. And I only picked up one game while we were there at Gamers Alley. Uh, I used some of those NES doubles to do a trade in. They wanted 80 for this, but after the trades and talking to them for a little bit, they did it for 50. And I got Castlevania Dracula X on Super Nintendo with the manual. The manual's in great shape, the cart's in great shape, couldn't be happy. Even, even 80 for that game, man. That's, yeah, even 80 just for the game is good, so definitely a good deal. That was it for day one of uh, our trip, and uh, yeah, a bunch of good stuff. As far as day two goes, first place we hit up was Sweet Union Flea Market. I picked up nothing. You know, nothing really caught my eye for a good deal, so. I got several things in there. I got that box, the Paperboy, for five bucks on the Nintendo 64. I didn't bring it with me. Sorry, guys, but you saw in the video that I got it for that. My big find from there was I did get Rock and Roll Racing for four bucks. This is a great deal. It's gone up in value. Pretty fun game too. Yeah. And uh, I got 11 NES games from this one vendor. He just brought out a whole stack of games. And he's like twenty dollars, twenty dollars. I'm like. Alright, because uh, I didn't have a lot of them, and there was one game in there that goes for about 15 bucks. So, we got Bases Loaded, the second season, Tag Team Wrestling, Trojan, Sky Shark, Green King, King of the Beach, Airwolf. We're in time as part of San Diego. And I had a, a copy of Mike Tyson's Punch Out, but I already used that to trade it off to get some other stuff. And, uh, put John up with two games from it that I already had Trojan. And Life Force. Good deal, I think, for 20 bucks. Next place we hit was Barnyard Flea Market in Fort Mill. Did you get anything? No. I only got two games, but we got Galaga. Got one of ten for it. I was like, hey man, I'll give you five for it. That's about it. And he was like, alright. So, whatever. I'm looking around at this one of the vendor stuff, and all the NES games in there were three bucks. Mainly all common stuff, but one caught my eye, and that was uh, This Is Loaded 4 for three bucks. I'm not the wrong, that's a pretty uncommon game. I think it goes for about 20 bucks, so good deal. Alright, uh, next place we hit up was Gamers Alley in Dallas, North Carolina. And I picked up two games on Wii. Uh, I got Resident Evil 4 for, I believe it was $8, because they mispriced it. And then I also got Mario Party 8 for $25. That's the cheapest I've seen this anywhere, because it's always still like 40 bucks. I'm like, 
I got several things in there too. Nothing crazy. I got a box complete. Awesome possum. Awesome. It's two dollars for this, so couldn't pass that up. Complete Genesis game. Got Star Soldier. I believe that one was a dollar as well. And um, one of my favorite cartoons growing up, Tailspin. I believe it was two ninety nine. So we're gonna pass that up. And that's all we got from the Dallas uh, Gamers Alley. So great store. The guys should check them out if you live in the area or going in that area. Next place we had in Charlotte was uh, Goodwill, and uh, really ridiculous. Like I must say, like. They were charging retail prices for everything. They had tons of good games there. They had Worms Armageddon on the 64. They had Castlevania Legacy of Darkness on the 64. Had Felix the Cat on the NES. I've been really wanting to find that game. And uh, they were charging like 28 bucks for it. And that's like above eBay. And all their other stuff was eBay prices, which is ridiculous because they get all their stuff for free. Yeah, I mean, that's. It just seems wrong, you know, to charge so much for something that's donated. But I did get one game from there because I thought it was a good deal. Forgive me if I'm saying this wrong. I believe it's No Magaga's Ambition. It's made by Kobe, and it was two ninety nine. So I figured I'd give it a shot. And uh, I picked up a Game Boy player for GameCube. I had the disc and everything, and I paid fourteen for that, which is a little, a little high, but kind of hard to find it with the disc and everything. We were on the way home, uh, passing through Salisbury, North Carolina, and we uh, saw Flea Market, looked promising, checked it out, and I picked up Indiana Jones for $4, says 5 talking down, not bad. And then uh, another thing I thought was kind of cool I picked up was I got Silent Hill on PlayStation 1, uh, it's, it doesn't have the case, but it's got the game, and the manual. And the manual. Black label. Yep, two dollars. So I couldn't really pass that up. We got several games there too. Uh, hit up a vendor. She wanted three dollars a piece for her NES games. I said, "Would you do four for ten? She was like, "Yeah." Picked up Terminator Two with the manual. Cobra Triangle. Bart System versus the Space Mutants. Just got a little label damage, but that's all right. Copy of Ninja Turtles Two, which I already had traded off, so. Not bad for 10 bucks, I say, on those. From the same vendor that John got the Indiana Jones game, he had several Nintendo games, nothing great. He was wanting five of these for him. And I did see one that caught my eye, and that was Micro Machines on NES. She wouldn't go any lower on his NES games, but five bucks for this game is a good deal. But that's all we got in Salisbury. Uh, really good deal. Glad, glad we stopped there on the way back. We were per perusing the old Craigslist a little bit more on the way home, and we stopped in Raleigh and we met up with this guy. Uh, he had just tons and tons of NES games, uh, a lot of, a lot for sale. He had a huge collection, saw a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. The guy had like doubles of every every Mega Man game, double, three Contra Forces. Ducktail, he had a couple Ducktales 2s. Man, he had. He said he had a surprise of dinosaur P, but he's like, "Oh, I'll keep that hidden away." And he had like tons of box systems and stuff like that, and just crazy. And I was surprised he just let us come to his house too. So yeah, I know. He didn't want us to film anything, but man, I understand because it's his house. I got some good stuff. Yeah, I, I picked up three games, and I got these all for twenty bucks. Um, got NES Open. Yeah, sorry, game. And then I got. Contra. Stoked about that. Finally got it for a good deal. And then also got Super C. Not, not bad for 20 bucks off of this. Not bad at all. I picked up several games from the guy as well. And um, I really wanted to get some more stuff, but he was asking like below eBay. So I, uh, after that point, I was pretty broke on the way home. But I picked up several games from all these games I got for 40 bucks, which I think is a fantastic deal. First game we got was Battleship. We got Star Trek The Next Generation. Popeye. Ice Climber. 
Mario Brothers Arcade Classic. And the last one I got was River City Ransom. I didn't really want to find that. And found that and all those other games for a really good deal. But I believe that's everything we got throughout our trip. Yeah, that pretty much sums up uh, everything we got. But yeah, thank you guys for all the support and all the comments. and We really appreciate it. And I'm really stoked that you guys like watching our videos and stuff. And we're going to keep making them. Yeah, thanks again. And feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.